Hunter, what was your perspective of the day, kind of a strange day with the delay and it never rained and just the waiting and everything? What, what was it like to go through that today? Yeah, today's uh, the whole weather forecast stuff was crazy, but, um, you know, our, our mindset is whatever happens, good. Um, if, if we'd have pushed it back till 2 in the morning, we're ready to go. Um, the result wasn't what we wanted, but um, the, the whole waiting around and, you know, that didn't, that didn't have too much to do with it. We just didn't play our best game tonight. Anything else for Hunter? Okay, Hunter, we'll go ahead and let you go, get to the bus. Sure. Questions for Coach. Back in the middle again. Uh, Nick, I know this was a strange day. Do you have any quarrels with how the weather situation was handled, and do you think that had any impact on the result tonight at all? No, I, I sat right there yesterday and uh, answered that same question and just basically said, hey, look, the weather is going to be what it is, and we're going to trust whoever makes the calls, and we're going to live with it, and we're not going to point fingers or make any excuses. So that will be my same answer to that. Back left, Coach. Nick, back here. Obviously, the message is clear to your guys tomorrow. Fight, keep your season alive. But what do you sense out of your team, especially after last weekend, knowing they're, they're ready to stave off elimination? And, and what's it going to take tomorrow? Well, you know, last time we were here, it was the same thing. Very similar outcome, very similar deal where we didn't play our best and we came out the next day and played exceptionally well and had a chance to win on Sunday. So, um, been there, done that. I told the team that just now. Hey, we've been in a very similar situation not only last weekend, but the last time we were here. So, um, obviously, a lot at stake tomorrow, and, but we've been, there, we've been here before. Right here in the front. Coach, you guys had some success against Paul the last time you guys were here. Um, what sort of change do you think um, with Paul and what you guys were seeing in, at the plate today? There was two things. One, he was up to 102 miles an hour. And number two, he threw more off-speed pitches than he did fastballs. Let that sink in. He threw the ball 102 miles an hour and threw more off-speed pitches than he did fastballs. So he made the adjustment, and we didn't. Right here, to the right, front right. Coach, what did the NCAA people tell you right before, you know, when the game was changed at the beginning and then throughout the day? And, and what were your thoughts when it never rained? Um, they did a great job keeping us in the loop with communication. Myself, Jay, we were there. Um, Everything that was talked about was communicated to the coaches, and they basically told us when we were playing and when we weren't, and when the weather was coming and when the weather wasn't. So they did all the communication, and we were. I, I listen. I I grew up in the state of Florida. Okay, like I understand the weather, and it could be a challenge sometimes, and uh, so. They made the calls, and we played when they told us to play, and we got the game in. Back left. Uh, Zach's been your guy all year, obviously your ace. What do you tell him after tonight? Just what went wrong for him, and, and what do you tell him? Well, well, you know, the thing about Zach is, you know, he's really bright. And even me walking out there and doing the, the visit in the mound, he, he's already telling me what he did wrong. You know, and that's – that's how you get to that spot. That's why you get the ball when it matters the most is because you understand. And this game comes down to execution, and we didn't execute well enough, and um, he knows that. He knows the pitches. He knows everything um, as it relates to what he did wrong and what he needs to do better, and that's why he gets the ball. Just the, uh, the up again, down again, did, did that affect him at all? Just no. What, one thing we do in our program um, – we talk all the time about we will not whine, complain, or make excuses. And um, he won't do that. I won't do that. And um, you don't get to this spot by allowing your players and yourself to make excuses. And um, we, we don't do that. We're Kentucky Wildcats. Do not do that. Right here in the front, Coach. Hi, Leah Van from the Advocate in Baton Rouge. Um, Zach threw in the relief last time he faced LSU. What went into giving him the start today? What did you like about that matchup and what kind of went wrong? Well, um, Zach's been starting for us and uh, he's been throwing the ball exceptionally well as well as anybody on our team. So um, that was an easy decision for us based on how well he's throwing and um, the role we've been using him coming into this weekend. Okay, Coach, I appreciate your cooperation. Thanks yeah, thank very you. much.